Hey guys, I hope you're all well. I thought I would do a little vlog this week. What am I doing today? I've just filmed a everything five pound haul. This is what I've got to tidy up now. It's a massive mound. I need to sort out the cutaways for that. Um, I've got a list as long as my arm to do. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just edit little snippets of my days every day of the week and then probably upload on a Sunday or something. I find vlogging the whole of one day at the moment really boring. Um, because I kind of get to two o'clock and my my day's kind of done because I've done everything that's been on my list and then I just sit on the sofa for the rest of the afternoon. Now like lockdown's lifting obviously they're going to be a little bit more interested in the vlogs. I can't wait for the charity shops to open that's like my first port of call. I cannot wait to go charity shopping. Mum and dad are coming over tomorrow we're gonna have a day in the garden. The weather is meant to be really nice it's meant to be like 22 degrees here in the Midlands so yeah we're gonna do some gardening I need to mow the lawn today. I'm just bringing a load of compost over tomorrow so I can do some pots and stuff. I want to get some things in pots because the garden's looking quite boring if I'm honest. I've started planning out the garden. I will show you my little little journal. How sad is this? I'm officially an old woman. Friends bought it for me for my birthday last year and it's amazing. I've been planning out what I want to do in the garden this year. So you've got like your monthly planner, planting log, ideas, notes. I just find it really handy, especially if you grow veg and you need to um, plan out where stuff's going to go kind of thing. If you're an old lady like me, you might enjoy my gardening account on Instagram. I'll pop it across the screen. No pressure to go and have a look, but if you're into gardening, you might enjoy it. Another exciting thing, I've put my name down for an allotment, which I'm so excited about. I don't know whether I'll get it because loads of people want them at the moment, don't they? But if I get it, it's just going to be like a whole new journey. It's going to be my little baby, so... I'm so, so excited and just crossing everything that I get one. I think there's quite a big waiting list. So who knows, I might not, but it would make my garden so much better because at the moment we're growing veg in the garden as well as flowers and stuff and it's just overrun. <laughs> This is gonna fall off. I'm sweating like a pig out there. I've had to come in and make something to eat because I'm getting hungry by the second. Garden's done well for now. You can't have any boys, it's all mine. So yeah, make myself some lunch, have a cup of tea. Paul made a focaccia the other day and we still got some left over. It's so nice as a sandwich. I filled it full of bacon yesterday and it was amazing. I'm having ham today. Oh, look how nice that bread is. I'm gonna devour this. God, I'm so hot. <sighs> I've had to change. I'm literally sweating. What is the temperature? It's 17 outside. That's like the summer for England. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow's 21. Wednesday's 19. I'm so excited for the weather. This is snow next Monday. Typical England. I've had to put my dungarees and white top on. 
just so I don't cook. I've got a white t-shirt on and then these are from oh, Shein like ages ago. They're like cropped and then I don't want you to be able to tell. Crossed at the back. My mum gave me these the other day. You know you're a garden wanker when you're wearing cut off wellies. But I think they go. I feel like I know what I'm doing but I really don't. Oh, I've got my shit together. Oh they look lovely with the ankle socks. Just look at this. Eat your heart out, Michael Jackson. Wednesday, sorry I, did, I didn't film much yesterday just because it was absolutely stunning weather. Um, Mum and Dad came over, I think I just filmed one clip of the day. We just did some gardening, hung out, it was just nice to drop all social media. I didn't go on my phone till like 8 o'clock in the evening and it was just so nice. So I highly recommend having a no social media day. I just felt like I got a little bit of normality back and I could see my Mum and Dad properly without feeling guilty and all that so uh, yeah that's why I didn't really film very much yesterday just because we were in the garden not doing a fat lot other than drinking tea and eating so um yeah today's Wednesday I've just packaged up some orders that I've had through from the ashes so if you have ordered anything thank you so much it means the world I do like a little happy dance every time I get an order on there so nice when you invest your money into something you kind of like reap the reward back um, it's so nice knowing that you guys are liking the stuff on there. I'm gonna have a new like spring summer drop soon So I will update the website and I'll let you know on here if you're interested anyway um, And I'll post on Instagram and stuff if you are following on there So yeah, I'm gonna run all this up to the post office and then I think we're going over to Paul's mum and dad's this afternoon uh, Just to kind of catch up with them not a great deal today, just uh, pretty similar to yesterday. Just enjoying the weather because it is so nice out there. I've actually got denim shorts on, which I don't think I've worn since September last year. I love the freedom of just wearing a t-shirt and shorts. T-shirt I've actually got on, I'm selling on from the ashes, but I just couldn't resist wearing it today because I like the blue and the blue and the back print. Obviously, I will chuck it through the wash if someone wants to buy it, but there hasn't been any interest in this at all. So I might claim it as my own, we'll see. I haven't had any breakfast yet, I'm absolutely ravenous. I might nip into Sainsbury's on my way back and get like some brunchy kind of stuff. And then I might have a look at their garden section as well, because I want some like summer flowering bulbs. So we'll see what they've got there. God, it's warm out there. Put you down, do a little plant haul. Sorry about the unmade bed, that's disgusting. I don't really know what supermarket plants are like because I never really get them from the uh, garden centre and stuff. I picked these up. These are daffodils, they're the tete a tete ones. They're like the mini ones. They're £1.50, I've got two of those. They're just really cute. Then I got agapanthus, which I love, absolutely adore these. There's only one in a box, so I've got two boxes and I'm gonna, again, put them in a pot in the garden. It says plant from February to April and then they'll flower from July to September, so I'm excited for those. And they were 2.75 bargain. Then I got a box of purple free, well I say blue, but they look purple on the box, um, freesias. Again, they'll flower from July to September. I'm rushing this because I've got a bacon sandwich on the go downstairs. <laughs> then I got these, which I've wanted to try for ages and they're ranunculus, I think is how you say it. But I just love the layers of these. They're like mixed colours. I'm not too fond of the yellow and red, but I love the pink. So I'm excited to see how they'll come out. I thought these looked cool. They're 30 sword lilies. They're just really delicate and small. I thought they'd look cute in a pot as well. Again, July to September, they'll come out. Then some boring things. Some hair clips and a beauty blender because mine was just rotten. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna go and have my bacon sandwich.
Fucking hell, my lad. Make a mess, why don't you? Where's it's done the bread. Mm. Kicking back the other way a bit. Good morning guys, it is Thursday, um, I've just finished a massive amount of housework I had to do, um, oh god, and I've just had a delivery so I thought I'd open that with you, I've just um, had a little delivery from Anna Louise, I think it's from Anna Louise or anyway, DHL usually is, oh yes it is, it's one of my favourite deliveries, I love their packaging, look how cute it is. I chose a few pieces, but I don't know what they've sent. Oh my God, I've wanted this one for ages. <gasps> it's like a little uh, tea bar. Is that what they call them? Pull it up so I can show you. Oh my God, I love their jewelry so much. If you've uh, followed me for a while, you will know that I feature it quite a lot. Um, I love them because they're sustainable. It's hard to find sustainable jewelry brands and I absolutely love them. <gasps> Oh my God, look at those. Just focusing on my great big face. I don't know how well you can see them. I'm gonna do a video on these anyway. I just thought I'd unbox them with you, but they are so cute. I'm in need of some new earrings. Go in here, I hope it's, oh, it's a little ear cuff. Oh my God, that's cute. You have to excuse my chip nail. It's like studded, let me put it on. I'm not explaining it very well, am I? Stretch it a bit to get it on my massive ear. How nice is that? It's a nice little post day. I love getting Anna Louise jewellery. If you've never checked them out, then check it out. It's really affordable as well. Today, what am I doing? Housework. I've got loads of emails I need to do and catch up on. I was going to go food shopping, but I think we can get through another couple of days without having to go. So, um, yeah, I won't bother doing that today. I've got really bad indigestion. I can't get rid of it. Anyone got any like home remedies? I mean, I'm taking Gaviscon, but it just doesn't seem to touch it. The weather's gone to shit. It was gorgeous the last couple of days and now it's raining this morning. I got a few bits planted yesterday from what I bought from Sainsbury's, but I'm waiting for another nice day to do some more. Uh, my lettuce seeds are doing well, let me show you. I only did them, God, like start of the week and they're already like this. I haven't done them outside. I've literally just put them on top of the windowsill in the living room, but... They're so cute. And then when they get bigger, I'll like prick them out and put them in a bigger pot. But yeah, I've got, none of these are up yet because I did these the other day when mum and dad were over. So I've got parsley in there. I've made like little makeshift greenhouses out of cling film. Um, sunflower seeds in there. And then cosmos in here, which are gonna be orange, which I'm excited about and then uh, courgettes in here. They don't usually take long, the courgettes, so I'm excited for those to come up. So yeah, it's just gonna be a day of sorting, editing, getting the house tidy again. I'm just gonna have a lunch break. So I'll make myself a wrap, and I'm gonna do it in that TikTok style. Now, I hate TikTok, let me just clear that up. Fucking hate it. <laughs> I don't know how people can sit on there for hours scrolling through it. However, I do think sometimes the recipes are quite good on there. Um, there's another one I think that came off there is like a roasted tomato and feta pasta, which I wanna try. I'm not knocking it completely, but in general, I hate TikTok. But we're gonna give this a whirl. So basically you get your wrap and you cut it um, up into the middle. I'm sure everyone's seen this, but you put something in uh, one quarter and then fold it and then fold it over. And then it kind of makes, I guess a taco kind of shape. Is a taco that shape? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have tuna, lettuce, cucumber and tomato, I think. I don't think I'm gonna be able to overfill it because it's just gonna poke out and not lie flat, isn't it? I made like a Greek yogurt, you've got cumin, smoked paprika, Greek yogurt, lemon, garlic, some other stuff in it the other day to have like a potato salad with. So I'm gonna have some of that. Bring you down to this level so you can actually see what I'm doing. Basically, you put something in each corner and then kind of wrap it as you go. God, I've cut way too much cucumber. Oh, I'm sorry, did I forget to give you yours? Bert and Barry are 
obsessed with cucumber. Oh, that was my finger, you little shit. Oh, Betty's on her way. You don't like cucumber, you always spit it out. You try a little bit. I told you you wouldn't like it. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Bit of pepper. Probably don't need salt because the tuna's proper salty, isn't it? Right, this is what it looks like. So you kind of do it in quarters. And now I'm going to fold it up and see what happens. <laughs> Hope for the best. Hope it doesn't all fall out. Oh my god, it's massive. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. That's what it looks like. I'm going to say it will be easier to eat than a normal wrap. You kind of like, you know, fold up from the bottom. You give it a whirl. Can't really say anything other than it just tastes like a tuna wrap which is all it is, isn't it? It would be nice if you um, did like a cheese one and toasted it, or like a chicken one and had like a warm wrap. I think that'd be nice if it was toasted. I was gonna have this on the side because I've cut it now. I'm gonna give it a solid eight out of 10, or do I give it nine because it's easy to eat? Eight or nine out of 10. I think it would be better if it was like a hot wrap, but yeah, I'm gonna go and demolish this. Good morning, it is, I think it's Friday. I got up, did a workout, had a shower, got myself ready, got some work bits to do today, some Instagram content to shoot. It's raining outside, it's not very nice. I've got stuff to go through from PR companies and stuff, so I might show you that. Don't know whether you're interested in that. There's a lot there, however, I'll probably only pick out the best bits and show you. I've just made my morning smoothie. I've already had overnight oats, but it's about half 11 and i'm already starving right i'm sat on the floor and i'm going to go through my pr stuff i'm going to show you the best bits i'm not going to show you everything because we'll be here for bloody ages i haven't actually worn this yet i've tried it on and it's gorgeous such a nice bra um so i collaborate with fig leaves on my instagram every now and again and they send me some pieces um they're now being stocked on simply b i don't think they've got their own website anymore um, but this is actually from a brand called Gossard on Simply Be. I and mean, this white bra is stunning. It's like a plunge bra, so if you've got any plunge tops, this is perfect. I'm probably not doing the best shop job in showing you, but I need to shoot this. I'm going to do this today. If the Instagram picture is live before this video goes live, I'll pop it in my screen. But I love it. It's so comfy and it works perfectly with those Josie tops I bought from Urban Outfitters. I feel like I'm always banging on about those. Um, but it's the exact same plunge v net. They also sent me a red set which I featured on Instagram not long ago. Everybody went mad for. I'll try and link these below if they're still on there but really good bras. Absolutely love them. Then I've got a package from I think it's Alia. Alia Skincare. It's all in the bathroom. Basically they sent me a box full of their skincare stuff um, and I cannot wait to try this but I'm going to do it in a separate video. I feel like um, skincare is quite an in-depth thing and me just showing you here. It's just a little bit like, oh yeah, I get sent, got sent a mask. It's good. <laughs> so I want to give this like a proper try and then I'll do a sit down video and share that with you guys because I've heard amazing things about that brand. Oh my God. I can't sit on the floor cross-legged anymore. That is a sign of age. I've got some clothing bits from a company called, um, I think it's VHNY. They sent um, a cropped sweater, a cropped t-shirt, um, you'll see these all on Instagram anyway if you do follow me over there. But this is like a huge, what do they call them? Are they Borg jackets? And then it goes into like this drawstring sleeve. I think it's so cool. It's really oversized. I've got a Carhartt one like this and I wear it to death. So I'm going to get so much wear out of that. The next thing is these period pants. Now, I've been doing like the whole sustainable period thing for a while now. I'm going to say it's probably over a year. Uh, but this brand got in touch and they're called Lilova. They sent the pants in this cute little bag. I've used them already, so um, I don't need this. But I thought I'd save it to uh, share the name. And I got the Olivia Hip Hugger Pants, which holds two tampons worth. Um, and I got mine in black. They do loads of different uh, variations to suit your period, basically. I've got these in a size large and they do come up small. Just bear that in mind. They work an absolute dream. So these are the pants. They just look like a normal pair of briefs and I like these because they've got like a lace deal at detail at the top so you don't feel like oh they're a great big pair of frumpy period pants and basically they've got like the inbuilt pad 
inside. I swear by period knickers, if you've never tried them and you're still like using pads or tampons and stuff, you need to try these out. They are so, so good. It makes periods like a hell of a lot easier. So I've got a few pairs of these. One pair from this brand, a couple from other various brands. That is a tip I would say if you've never tried these before, it's worth buying two to three pairs. Now they're not the cheapest, but you never have to go out and buy tampons and pads and stuff. So yeah, love these. All you do is whip them off, swill them in some cold water and then chuck them in the washing machine dry them out and then they're good to go. So they're super simple to use. I've had people on Instagram ask me um, what do you do when you're like out and about, like using public toilets and stuff. I've never had to experience that, mainly because I haven't been anywhere for, what, a year? <laughs> We've been in lockdown, haven't we? But don't really want to let them dry out, so I'd probably take them off, keep them in a sandwich bag, like a Ziploc one, pop them back in your bag, not bother swilling them out in the toilet sinks, because that's a bit weird, isn't it? people watching you when you're swilling out your knickers in the sink um yeah so just put them in a sealable bag uh put your clean pair on and then wash them when you get home but yeah just don't let them dry out i absolutely love these they are a game changer i will link uh lilova down below in the description bar i absolutely adore them if you want to make your periods more sustainable this is the way forward i just absolutely love them can't rave about them enough these are the other pieces from vhny so i've got this little crop top and it's got built-in shoulder pads it's, i've got quite broad shoulders so i was a little bit nervous of shoulder pads but um yeah that's really cool it looks nice when it's on it's kind of like gives you that hourglass wide like up top and the narrow waist look and then this is the little sweater again with the built-in shoulder pads and it's cropped can't wait to get some use out of those in the summer uh, what else can i show you oh i forgot about these glass i've got some new glasses and these are from a prescription website so basically you can just get your prescription if you go to like spec savers or something um get your prescription and then put it in on this website the glasses are so affordable aren't they i need glasses for like long distance and driving and watching the telly so I've got two pairs of uh, normal glasses and then one pair of sunglasses and they're from a brand called Zinf. The quality of these is unreal. So this is my first pair that I got. I don't know whether they're too big for my head but I really like them. You're going to just see glare on camera probably because they have obviously got a prescription lens in but I really like them. I love the black frames and the gold detail. I compared them to my pair I've got from Specsavers and they're just exactly the same to look through. Um, I actually do need my eyes tested, I'm overdue for an eye test but they work brilliantly. I've worn them to drive in, um, I just love them and like I said they're so affordable. So I got that pair and then the other pair of glasses I got were just your standard, um, are they called like Wayfarer frames? Uh, so the black at the top and again gold detail. Paul said these were massive on me, but I don't think they're that big. I mean, I have got a tiny head, but I really like these. They make me feel intelligent <laughs> when I'm sat watching the telly at night, but yeah, I love them. I mean, they're quite wide on my face because I've got a narrow face. Hello, puppy, what do you want? And then I got a pair of sunglasses. I've been wearing these to death. They're not in their case. Um, but yeah, you get real nice cases with them as well, so they don't damage. I actually need to clean the lenses on these. <laughs> they're these huge, like square frames. I'm in love with these so much. I really like wearing my hair tied up with these. I love them so much. Again, they do look big. All glasses tend to look big on my face because, like I said, it's really narrow. <laughs> but um, I love them. And when my hair's up, I love them even more. Yeah, the quality is awesome. If you've never looked at Zinf before, I definitely recommend it if you're a glasses wearer. I think I've got a discount code. I will pop it across the screen if I have and in the description box. Right, final thing I'm going to show you because we're like 10 minutes in. Um, it's some jewellery from a brand called Filippo Loretti. Their packaging is gorgeous. This is right up my street. I've already been wearing these pieces, so they're not in the box, but they come in these gorgeous little drawstring black bags. It's really minimal. If you're into minimal jewellery, you will love this website. So I got a ring. You'll have to excuse my nails. I need to do them, but it's just this simple gold band, and it re works really well for stacking. I love stacking my rings and it's got like this, I don't know whether you'll be able to tell in the camera, but it's got like a flat top on it. I don't think that's focusing, <laughs> but you get the gist. It's awesome for stacking. I sometimes wear it with my engagement rings. Um, it fits most fingers to be fair. My, my fingers are generally the same sort of size. 
uh, but yeah love that and then they sent this gold little bangle so it's got like a plait detail on it like a rope probably more so and then it's got these little black studs in the ends don't know how well you can see that but i love stacking this with my watch and some other jewelry and it's like really flexible so you can adjust it yeah it just looks like that when i'm when it's warm with my watch i love simple minimal jewelry i'm a sucker for it i think i've got various discounts floating about for all this stuff check the description box and i'll pop all the discounts and stuff in there and the links for all this stuff down below if you're interested in any of it right i need to go and get some work done it's quarter past 12. i'm running out of daylight rapidly because it's pissing down outside